Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, uh, we're talking about the Jacksonville Jaguars versus Tennessee Titans Week 17 matchup based on analytics. Each week, I like to collect all of the current 2017 NFL team data in order to analyze and project potential NFL performance. And since it's a weekly collection, there's always going to be some variation between various data points. However, there's always going to be little nuggets of truth that could become bigger nuggets of truth as the season continues. So stick around as I analyze each week's matchups based on analytics. And if you're new to the channel, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So... Looking at this matchup between the Jaguars and the Titans, uh, when you look at the NFL stat basic comparison data, and basic comparison data is essentially what it sounds like. It's the basics. It's looking at the offense, the defense, and the special teams uh, based on various team uh, statistics and data points. Uh, And looking at this information, uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars are pretty heavily favored in this game over the Titans. The Titans have had... Not the best year, I would say. Not not what they were expecting uh, to have. Uh, and the Jaguars, in many ways, also have had a year that a lot of people weren't expecting either. Uh, of course, Jaguar fans probably uh, were expecting something. But um, definitely very surprising uh, for both these teams. Uh, the Titans being a team that a lot of people uh, thought would make a name for themselves in the AFC South. Uh, whereas the Jaguars, a team that was a little iffy, and then they ended up kind of being what a lot of people thought the Titans were going to end up being. Uh, but based on the data, why are the Jaguars favored? First off, offensively speaking, the Jaguars have the better offensive data. Uh, they have better turnover percentage, so they don't turn the football over as often. Uh, they have better uh, sack percentage uh, in many ways uh, when it comes to uh, you know, just the ability to prevent sacks, and they also have better offensive score percentage, meaning that they're able to kind of put points on the board uh, more often than the than the Titans. Uh, although it is fairly close, uh, you know, very, fairly close in terms of that p- particular uh, aspect. And then, of course, you get to the defensive side of the football. Uh, the Jaguars have better defensive offensive score percentage, uh, better turnover ratio, uh, better sack percentage, and better interception percentage. So all those areas, the Jaguars are pretty much favored. Uh, when it comes to uh, the defense, you know, in a major way. As I say every single week, the Jaguars are gangster. Gangster defense. Uh, they pretty much do everything you want a defense to do at a very high level, uh, and that's why they've had a lot of success. Uh, and then, of course, you get to special teams data. Uh, the Jaguars are favored in terms of punt return yardage, uh, kick return yardage. Uh, defensive punt return yardage favors the Titans. Defensive kick return yardage favors the Jaguars. Uh, Field goal percentage favors the Jaguars. Extra point percentage favors the Titans. Punting average favors the Titans. Uh, In terms of who has the better special teams, uh, it's pretty much the Jaguars because they have the better field goal percentage. By far the most correlative, the most predictive statistic when it comes to uh, winning football games uh, with special teams data is the field goal percentage. Uh, It's the most logical. It makes the most sense as well. Uh, because how many times have you watched a game and it came down to a field goal or tying a game came down to a field goal, etc. So um, having a very good field goal percentage or at least above average is very important in terms of winning football games. Uh, The Jaguars have that. The Titans do not have that. Um, So in many ways, if you just look at the overall data, uh, the Jaguars have the better offense, they have the better defense, and they have the better special teams. And all those reasons are why the Jaguars are so heavily favored in this game from a macro standpoint. Uh, Now when you get to the other side of things, so when you look at the micro data, so the other sort of down and distance data uh, between both these teams, looking at the Jaguars offense versus Titans defense when it comes to completion percentage data, uh, the Titans defense is favored in terms of second and third down. Um, So uh, this is one, one aspect of the Titans defense that actually has been uh, fairly decent is their third down uh, completion percentage. Uh, basically, their ability to prevent completions on third down. That's been one aspect of the Titans' defense that has done well this year, uh, but they haven't exactly been amazing either in terms of other aspects, but they are definitely kind of favored here over the Jaguars' offense. 
Then, of course, you get to the Titans offense versus Jaguars defense, where the Jaguars are favored in terms of first, second, and third down when it comes to completion percentage. So, uh, no surprise here. The Jaguars defense pretty heavily favored over the Titans offense when it comes to, uh, you know, their defense versus the offense. Then we get to first down conversion rate with the run. Um, and, again, this has nothing to do with yardage or uh, explosive plays. It purely has to do with just the ability to prevent first downs from happening with the run um, and in this particular area the Titans defense is favored over the Jaguars offense in this respect so um, very good chance that the Titans defense will have a lot of success stifling the run uh, of the Jaguars offense uh, then of course you look at the Titans offense versus Jaguars defense when it comes to rushing downs and in this particular area the Titans offense is favored on first second and third down uh, you know when it comes to rushing downs then, of course, we get to passing downs. Uh, so this is the Jaguars passing offense versus Titans passing defense. And in many ways, the Jaguars passing offense is favored on first and second down. Um, this is kind of where the Titans defense kind of breaks down a bit. Um, despite being pretty decent in terms of preventing completions on third down, they don't really translate that into um, preventing first downs from happening. So that's one of the kind of breakdowns of the Titans offense is that they are able to kind of stifle completion percentage but they're not able to translate that into actually stopping first downs from being made. And that's kind of a big issue. That's like the biggest breakdown with their defense this year. Uh, then, of course, we look at the Titans offense versus Jaguars defense, where, uh, again, Jaguars pretty much favored on first, second, and third down. So no surprise here. Jaguars um, have a very good passing defense. Um, they're able to kind of stifle things very well against the Titans offense that has struggled mightily this year in terms of their passing game. Uh, then, of course, we get to sack rate uh, between the Jaguars offense and Titans defense, uh, where the Jaguars offense is favored on first, second, and third down. Um, so I think it would be kind of less likely to see the Jaguars offense kind of uh, getting sacked and that sort of thing in this game. Uh, then, of course, you look at sack rate for the Titans offense versus Jaguars defense, uh, where the Jaguars defense is heavily favored on first, second, and third down. Uh, the Jaguars defense is just been lights out this year when it comes to getting sacks, creating sacks, etc. I think that will continue in this game. And we get to interception ratio uh, between the Jaguars offense and Titans defense, uh, where the Jaguars are favored on first, second, and third down. Uh, so in many ways, the Jaguars pretty much favored here in terms of those aspects. And then finally, we get to the Titans offense versus Jaguars defense when it comes to interception ratio. Uh, where the Jaguars are pretty much heavily favored on first, second, and third down. Um, again, continuing the fact that the Jaguars, very likelihood they're going to get interceptions, they're going to get sacks, they're going to stifle the passing game. Just a lot of things are probably going to go into the Titans' favor in this game. Uh, the Jaguars' favor, excuse me, in this game. Uh, so overall, my general thoughts and opinions about this matchup, uh, I think it's going to be a Jaguars' victory. Uh, I do understand that the Titans won this matchup earlier on in the year, uh, but I don't quite see that happening again this time around. I think the Jaguars are a little bit more seasoned as a team. Uh, I think their defense is still spectacular uh, and has gotten better as the season has gone on. Um, I think their offense has gotten a little bit more efficient too um, in terms of certain aspects of its, of its game. and. I just think the Titans are just kind of on a downer up to this point. So I don't really see a lot of momentum going into the Titans' favor going into the game. Um, and I just think overall the Jaguars are going to you know, continue to be with their, what they are, um, have a very good game uh, in terms of uh, defense, and have a fairly conservative offense that still gets the job done and gets the W. Uh, but let me know in the comment section below who do you believe is going to win this football game. Uh, and of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemetrix. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well uh, if you uh, know anybody who likes this type of content. Um, hit that notification button uh, to always be notified when another video of mine drops. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye.